Hey guys, it's Hattie, and um, I promised that I would make a video after I tried using the OCA with Loca in it. And um, this is about my fifth attempt, and this is on the Note 3, as you can th see a Note 3 LCD. And um, yeah, I'm not too impressed with the results. Um, as you can see here on the top, let me try to get it to work zoom in there's bubbles um, on the top left as you can see right here and right here um, you have bubbles along this side the left side of the screen got bubbles let me see if I can position it better for you guys to see. Yeah, you see that bubbles along the left side. Bubbles. Um, on this bottom left corner. Bubbles in the middle. Center middle. Or the, the lower middle. Bubbles. I'm just rubbing my fingers um, across it so you that I can prove to you that this is not dust in its bubbles. Um, yeah. So this is like my fifth attempt, but this is the first attempt on a Note 3, but fifth attempt altogether. And um, uh, I've done a Note 4, I'm sorry, not a Note 4, S4. S4 had a few bubbles. Note 2 I did had like a bubble. Uh, S3 that I did, no bubbles it worked um, uh, but the strange thing to me um, is that you know uh, these bubbles they're not supposed to come back after you dry them under the UV light and I left this particular LCD under the UV light for about 10 minutes and after the autoclave there was no bubbles and they completely um, you know they were completely 100% gone and while I put them in the UV light, they formed. UV light is supposed to dry them. Uh, you know, dry the loca and the OCA and keep the screen as it is. So the bubbles formed after I put them in the UV light for about 10 minutes. Which is strange to me. Um, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I did something wrong in the process. Hey, John. Um, but anyway, this is my experience with uh, OCA with Loka in it. Take care.